I think back to the journey that began six weeks ago. Six weeks. I remember walking into the classroom and being nervously excited for what I was heading into. I found a spot and got situated. The clock struck 8.30 and apparently it was time for recess. A dance party at 8.30 in the morning? What was that all about? What was I getting myself into? We definitely were not in Kansas anymore and if the dance party was a sign of what's to come, I knew I was in for quite the ride. Looking at the faces of my classmates, I was comforted that I was not alone in my apprehensions. I told myself to keep an open mind and just write it out. And write it out I did. I thought I was fairly tech savvy before I began this journey, but that first quick fire told me otherwise. It set the pace of the entire program and I placed my confidence in working hard and keeping an open-minded attitude. I jumped in and tried to take everything that was thrown at me. It wasn't always pretty, and there were times, many times, I was confused and lost and ready to give up. There were times I doubted myself when all my confidence, energy, and clarity escaped me. Then I turned around and my newly formed PLN boosted my spirits. It was easy to be excited and re-energized when working alongside such passionate people. We struggled together and braved the storm together, even when there were moments of hopelessness. We collectively struggled but continued on the journey we set out to travel. We quickly developed a camaraderie and it seemed that we were moving together as one unit, making sure that no man or woman was left behind. When I began this journey, I was driven, passionate, and hungry to gather more tools and resources for my educational toolbox. I understood the need for technology and education but defined technology in traditional ways. I couldn't see past what something was created for and I felt removed from the technology of my students. I was closed off to things like Twitter and failed to see the possibilities and potentials of some of these resources. I didn't realize that technology would open up so many avenues and opportunities for me and my students. I wanted big things, but felt limited and lost in the sea of resources. All that is gone now and everything is much different. In just six weeks, I have learned to look at the possibilities of technology rather than its limitations. I learned to perceive situations as if there were no box. I am no longer removed from the technology of my students and have not only embraced Twitter, but have discovered better practices for it. I learned to question how I could repurpose something to fit into my educational practices, and I learned how to expand my educational tools to better utilize technology. I know where to look who to reach out to, and I am confident that the possibilities are endless. I still want big things and will continue to dream big for my students, and it is great to know that I have gained a supportive community who will continue to journey with me through the many experiences to come. To my MAAT family, I thank you for your continual support, encouragement, guidance, and the spirit to be the change in a much-needed time. I hope for big things for all of us, knowing full well that we will accomplish so many great things.